Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us here virtually. Perhaps this is a new normal, but hopefully in the near future, we will see each other again soon in person. Responding to threats of emerging viruses, new pathogens, local outbreaks, and global pandemics is not just about being here in the moment for COVID-19. Rather, it is a willingness to deploy resources without hesitation, developing capabilities and expertise, and demonstrating a true desire to get involved, even in the face of potentially insurmountable obstacles and bureaucracy. The story of Griffel's response to the coronavirus does not begin in 2020. It begins over 100 years ago with the founding of a company dedicated to unlocking the secrets of blood and its major component plasma. History of sharing innovation and technology without an expectation of return and a desire to help those who have been entrusted to our care. In 2014, the world was exposed to a potentially deadly virus in Western Africa, Ebola. Griffel's response established the capability to quickly deploy technology and expertise to respond not only to Ebola, but to new threats to our survival wherever they may occur and whatever form these emerging pathogens may take. This is that story, a story that demonstrates how we can quickly respond to Ebola, COVID-19, and the next threat. During 2014, the spring of 2014, reports of an emerging epidemic of Ebola uh, began surfacing from Western Africa. The countries involved were Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea. By the end of the epidemic, approximately 30,000 people had been afflicted with the disease, of which approximately 11,000 died. In Liberia alone, almost 5,000 people perished from the disease. Now, a number of us, we were on our uh, summer vacations or summer holidays in, in August of 2014, and we came back in the first week of September, and Victor Griffles called us together uh, for a lunch and said, what can we do? In September of 2014, Griffles decided to help in responding to this epidemic arising out of Western Africa and Liberia in particular. We wanted to use our expertise. We wanted to use our know-how, our technology, our resources, and donate them. So our thought was that if we're able to obtain plasma donated by healthy Ebola survivors, we can then separate the plasma into its component proteins, isolate the antibodies, which would include some specific to Ebola. Then we can purify them and convert that into a medicine that we call aminoglobulin. So the process includes viral inactivation and further testing to ensure that the medicine can be used safely in combating future outbreaks of Ebola. So in October of 2014, we decided to go forward on our own and we designed and constructed a modular plasmapheresis center that could be located in Monrovia, Liberia to collect plasma from survivors of Ebola. The following month, we started construction of a specialized plant for the manufacture of hyperimmune globulin from Ebola survivors in our Clayton, North Carolina facility. December 10th of 2014, after two months of work, our engineering department had designed and constructed a fully modular, fully equipped, state-of-the-art plasma phoresis center ready to ship to Liberia. In February of 2015, we traveled to Liberia to meet with members of the government. In July of that year, we finally reached agreement where Griffles would manufacture, construct, and donate a plasma phoresis center that could be used in Liberia for the collection of plasma from survivors of Ebola. And we also agreed uh, that we would train and educate their, their healthcare providers to ensure that when we left and gave them the keys to the facility, that it could be viable and sustainable well into the future. 
On Christmas Eve of 2015, the Modular Plasma Center was shipped to Liberia. It arrived in Monrovia in March 2016. I went to the communities for the kickoff campaign and I met people that were suffering a lot because of Ebola virus disease. They, they thought this is hope for our lives, for our communities. This project that you are coming, you are giving to us, this is a project of hope. In August 2016, uh, the first donors walked in at the PMC, the Plasma Ferris Modular Center, and more than 40 employees from Grifols and Providence Foundation helped to collect plasma and work in this project as volunteers. Uh, you can look on, or you can act, and I always think uh, I have to act. Proudest moment was running the Ebola ELISA assay for the first time and seeing the plate light up with antibodies and just realizing what that represented and the potential that it, that it holds. I just suggest and engage all of you to move from the European and Western countries from the comfortable way of life and move over there and learn about the difficulties and the heart the life is there. Compassion is giving to someone with no expectation of return, to someone who you have no idea who they are or what they do. This is what Griffles did for Liberia. And as soon as I found out, I was in. In December 2018, the Griffel Center in Monrovia has collected 1,000 bags of plasma from 2,000 donations. Basically, have had over 400 individuals, or we call them donors, who have voluntarily donated plasma. And some of these donors have to go up and down because the number never remains the same. As you will know, sometimes some donors get reactive for some conditions that would not keep them donating. But that's what the normal have been, have been basically, and they're still donating. At the same time, we began processing the first batches of plasma at the Clayton facility, where we celebrated the historic event with representatives from the Liberian government and Ministry of Health. This project has the potential to revolutionize the way epidemics of emerging viruses are approached and demonstrates our dedication to respond to epidemics wherever they may occur anywhere in the world. To bring this full circle, the facility that was built specifically for Ebola is now actively producing a hyperimmune for SARS-CoV-2 that is in human clinical trials. Another side of responding to emerging pathogens is identification and detection. Griffles has been at the forefront of donor screening for newly identified pathogens through state-of-the-art technology. Recent tests for Zika and Babesia and now one of the most highly sensitive and specific tests for the detection of SARS-CoV-2 have been developed and deployed by Griffles, using our knowledge and capabilities to advance our ability to serve.